Uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, like oh, energy, amazing. The typos, amazing. <laughs> No, again, I said Ray. No! I say Ray. Okay. Avatar, Avatar. We Watch it again! Again! But I love it, so it's no problem. Her haircut is <laughs> iconic. It's Appa! Yes. I love him. Appa! Oh, look at that Dutch angle. <laughs> Go, Zuko! Oh, yeah. Her mouth is so wide. Yeah, right, right yeah. <laughs> Makes it so creepy. Mm. She's so unhinged. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like her eyes, like... <laughs> yeah. I like lipstick makes her look so unhinged in her hair. I also love the name, Last Acne Kai. I wonder how they came up with Acne Kai or what it means. His voice in English is so <laughs> boyish. <laughs> so iconic though. Mm, <laughs> true. Such an intense moment, I love mm -hmm. it. I know I'm not the only one who has a crush on Zuko. <laughs> no, <laughs> everyone did. <laughs> <laughs> With his cool hair and the cool scar. Mm. <laughs> oh, I love the symmetry, it's so cool. He's just so out of it. <laughs> yes. Oh, the music! <laughs> the music is so good. <laughs> it makes it so emotional. Yeah. Now I get the feels, it's the music. <laughs> This is honestly the best scene in the whole series. Yeah, it's so memorable too. Yeah. It's so tragically beautiful, like the music. Yes. <laughs> I do wonder like, if they recorded flamethrowers or something for this, because it like, just sounds right. And it sounds hot. You can also like really see their personalities in the way they fight. Mm -hmm. Like for example, as well, she's so unhinged and you can see it in her movement, it's great. She's very, like she's the one attacking and Zuko is yeah. defending. <laughs> I say it just as he attacks. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like it's going on for longer than it yeah, actually is. Yeah, yeah. You feel like the, the magnitude of like this feud that's been going on between them. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I love ah, the thing that she's she does. Skating. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. cool. Beautiful effects animation. Yeah. It must be so hot, I always forget. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. The animation in the show is really good. Yeah, it is. <sighs> forget. <laughs> Goosebumps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the voice acting is also like... Mm -hmm. If I was a bender, I would want to be a water healer. Oh, nice. I'd be a firebender. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh god! Yeah. Oh god! Uh, oh my like god! The little thing he was that, like so reveals. slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! Katara! Katara and Zuko were meant to be together. <laughs> <laughs> slow motion. Oh god. So dramatic! Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> I've seen this so many times and still I forget what happens. Uh, no, my boy! Oh. <laughs> they should have ended up together. I'm sorry. I think their uh, dynamic, like Zuko and Katara, is really interesting. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> stop, stop moving! <laughs> Oh, the light Ooh. is so cool. Mm -hmm. Like the light changes. She's so evil. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> I love. I mean, I hate when they use it, but I love mm -hmm. the the lightning mm -hmm. power yeah. bending, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like a creative idea too. I love that she calls him Suzu. It's so condescending <laughs> and like <True>. mean. Surprise, <laughs> motherfucker! Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I wish or they were no, twins, then the mm -hmm. symmetry would make more sense. Mm. The, the blue fire is so pretty. Right. She's like, water. <gasps> Probably like sewage water too. Oh no. <laughs> oh, she's so smart, you know? Filthy <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> she sticks out so much with her blue clothing. Mm -hmm. True. Smart move. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I love this move. Couldn't she like melt it? With fire, no? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like. But I wonder how she can move her eyes. Technically, they're also like frozen. True. Because <laughs> they had to do it so she doesn't seem dead. <laughs> yeah. But like maybe because she's surrounded by water, she can't. I don't know. Ah. Uh, but if, if there's no air, then the fire can't burn. But how do they hold? <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of like she's just nodding it. Yeah. Suspension of disbelief. Yeah. Oh, thank God she can heal. <laughs> oh, his mouth is moving. I oh. look like he was say saying something. See? See? <laughs> <laughs> 
She's tear bending. <laughs> I love this part's this. so good, right? Yeah. Like the acting is so good. Like her desperation, it's like. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> what? It's just sad. It is. So brutal. I love that. It's so ugly. I love that they're doing this. Yeah. Very heart wrenching yeah. kind of. But yeah. Also, yeah. The scene was from Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, Zuko and Katara are standing off against Azula. Atla is produced by Nickelodeon Animation Studios and mm -hmm. created by Michael Dante, Dean Martino, <laughs> and Brian Konitsko. Mm -hmm. This animation was mostly done by the South Korean studio JM Animation. PR movie and Moi animation. First off, can we talk about the soundtrack? <laughs> yes! <laughs> like, it's so the opposite of what you would expect. Because you would expect it to be like really epic and stuff, but it's so like mm. somber and tragic and that like really gives you like a punch in the gut. It's really interesting to also see their development, like for Azula. She used to be like the very calm and collected uh, fighter. In this moment, she's like dancing all over the place. And the way her psyche just degrades over time and under the influence of her father, and it's just sad. Yeah. <laughs> I just love her expression mm -hmm. and the way she's animated in this. Like how skew yeah. everything is. Her smile is like way too big for her face and the makeup makes her mouth look even bigger. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the Joker effect a little bit. It's not like a fight where it's like, oh, the hero has to defeat the enemy. There was so much set up for us to like feel sorry for her too. Yeah. And it's just True. sad. The fact that her pupils don't touch the edge of the eye anyway. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it so intense. Yeah, the way she's moving is like very lanky and then compared to Zuko who is very steady and controlled. Mm -hmm. The way that she moves is so like different from usually. Yeah. Else she's always like so she's controlled. controlled. And also the fighting with her two fingers and now it's just mm. she's like using her palms instead of just like her <laughs> You can see that she's broken. I mean yeah. the haircut helps. <laughs> <laughs> I like the long hair though, it's way yeah. better than like yeah, the shape. Better. Better. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way that they draw her here is kind of like off model but like intentionally so it like makes her look so m much more unhinged because it's almost like everything is a bit skewed and like her fingers are really long and sharp yeah. and like her smile is just a bit too wide she's really mm. skewed she looks like she's off balance is the wrong word because she's not falling over but like she's like she's really twisted like if you compare to Zuko yeah. it's like you know? it's very calm very yeah. sturdy the, I'm thinking of the eye shapes now and like mm -hmm. that the eyebrow is squishing the eye. Today in class we learned that like the eyes and the eyebrows together are always drawn in one shape. If you would squish that ball then the eyebrows would squish down the eyeball and it's still one shape mm -hmm. and here it works very well. Mm -hmm. Like when you move your eyebrows it pulls the whole skin of your face so it makes a lot of sense to think of the eyebrows and the eyes together as one shape. But it depends on the style. There's no right or wrong. Just to say it again, this is a very cool shot with yep. the tilted angle and the pers like jumping into perspective. But this is just epic, oh my god. Mm. Like the clash of both of them and the blue and the orange fire. The energy has to escape all over there. I don't think that fire can do this. <laughs> Here, they kind of use it like as a whip but that's not how fire works. As soon as it leaves this space, it's independent. Mm. And here it's more like it's connected. Effects animation is a bit of rule of cool, a bit of like, just make sure that the motion looks mm -hmm. good. They must have had some like really, really good effects animators. Effects are hard. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like, ah, oh, energy, mm. amazing. The T-pose, amazing. <laughs> it's just a very cool shot. And then it like splits to reveal. Azula on the other side. I think it's also mm. nice how they have like moments in there where the characters have to like take a second to like calm down and then it starts again. So mm. you can like have time to like see their emotions. And also the music being sad. It's not like super epic. It sort of underlines the fact that this is not a great, glorious, victorious yeah. moment. It's like his it's sister. Just, yeah, it, he has to fight off his sister who is broken. Tragic. <laughs> Talking about it gives yeah. me goosebumps. <laughs> like okay. these poor children who have yeah. suffered under their shit father. I mean, <laughs> and you know, not to shit on anime, but I really appreciate that they don't shout and explain what they're doing <laughs> while they're fighting. But I think it's amazing what they did with special effects. Even special effects needs design. This yeah. is not the shape that you would actually associate yeah. with fire. At the beginning, it's very spiky and full of energy. And as soon as it's been there for a bit of time, it turns into this more smoky cloud kind of thing. So yeah. it, it loses its energy and kind of dissolves. Oh, that's a really nice impact. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's mm -hmm. almost 
like it's a little bit of slow motion right before she falls down. So the hit feels even harder. God, the poses are breaking all over. Oh, <laughs> okay. Is her head supposed to be like broken spine? <laughs> like you have to stretch and then you have to squash <laughs> and then you jump up again. Never forget the bouncing ball. <laughs> all of the fight beforehand, you don't really like see Katara, but mm. now that she's becoming important, you can see her in the background and you know the true there's like She's more stakes the there. Yeah, so this is such a great pose. It's mm. so <laughs> aggressive. I'm trying to assert her dominance. Yeah. Except she's not doing it right. She needs to depot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so also her It's hands, so exaturated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's like posture of like being like hunched mm. over and like asymmetrical is so different from the way she usually moves. And he's like really calm like okay, I got this, but mm -hmm. then like mm -hmm. with the parallax you reveal like no, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> see her eyes. I like that shot. And that's like whoop going over to Katara. And then we already know what's gonna happen and we're like, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. there's a nice circle around oh. her face. Like. Oh yeah, true. That's really nice framing, you know, mm -hmm. with the lightning all like pointing yeah. towards her. Uh, how did I think of that? <laughs> I want to learn this. I want to know how are they like, and now we're gonna draw like a moon and then a few spikes. The show has like aged a bit in terms of animation, but still all of the fighting choreography and all of the like VFX animation are still it's so nice. It's incredible. Yeah. It's so cool also seeing like the behind the scenes stuff where they worked with professional like martial mm, artists and mm -hmm. stuff to develop the and different it's, fighting styles. Right, it's like different like, martial arts. Yeah, yeah. Which Shaolin, is Hangar and that sort of stuff. But how the fighting styles like fit the different like philosophies of like the element and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like with the earth bending, it's very like on the ground and like you have a wide stance. And Fire bending, it's very quick and comes from the cork. That's so yeah. cool when people yeah. take time to like make world building yeah, like this. Right. Yeah. There are a lot of zoom ins. This but also like with oh, the yeah. water, it's like this is important. <laughs> and together with the chains. <laughs> It's also a cool idea to have her like melt the ice with her breath. I just love all the creative ways that they use the elements. It's never just like straightforward. It's always like very smart. It really is like a dragon or like an animal breathing out of her mm -hmm. mouth, trying to get free. Like there's no more rational acting anymore. This shape is totally plausible, but mm -hmm. then this part go into this direction and not into this direction. It'd be very like splayed out because she's like viewing that fire straight out of her mouth mm -hmm. would yeah, expand yeah. into this direction and continue with the direction. I like how she goes back here. Mm -hmm. It's very, very mm -hmm. nice. It's like her soul is like leaving yeah. her you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, Whoa. That's so crazy. Yeah. Even though she's not likable at all, you still feel the pain. Mm -hmm. Like the characterization is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, yeah, but it's so nice because I, I feel like you don't see a lot of ugly crying yes. in animation. Yeah. Look at her, she's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's accurate and it's what talks at our emotions because yeah. it's, it's yeah. real. You need to have the courage to draw your characters ugly. Yeah. I know they did like so much research and a lot mm -hmm. of world building mm -hmm. that it's like... Yeah, like the world yeah. building is really good. It's a great show, you should watch it if you haven't. Awesome, <laughs> thank you for reacting. Of course. <laughs> yes.